Hey, what's going on, social media family? I hope everybody's having a super, super good day full of coffee and Jesus. Man, I got something good I want to share with you today. I was in prayer the other night in, in our sanctuary at the Roar Kingdom Center. I was just, you know, spending time with the Lord. Really just going at it. Just, just go, just, you know, praying, declaring, prophesy, praying in the Holy Spirit, just praying. And out of the blue, I just heard the word golden compass. I have no idea what that meant. So I just said, golden compass. I got it, Lord. And I just kept praying. Probably seven, eight, ten minutes later, I was praying. I just felt the Lord just impress on my heart that this is the hour that we have to have a golden compass. Now, we all know what a compass is. It's something that guides you north, south, east, west. It's the direction you're supposed to go. But when something is golden, that is a terminology people use for best of the best or in precious metals, you know, gold is very expensive. And so when I heard that word golden compass and I started praying into it, I really knew that what the Lord was saying is it's going to be very, very valuable to you to listen to me in this season. And I really believe that in, in this season of the world that we're in, the time frame that we're in right now, it is probably one of the biggest, most important times I've ever seen to really lean in and listen to God in your life, what ministry you're part of, where you're sowing your seed, um, what you're investing in, the place that you're working, the geographical location. I've never in my life seen... Um, Republican and Democrat states being so completely different. Um, you know, I travel a lot in ministry. And when I go into a state, I can tell you if it's a Republican or Democrat state by the way that it's ran. I've never seen that before. And so this word golden compass is, is very important and powerful. Okay. I want to share some scriptures with you. Jeremiah 10, 23 O oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his own steps. We got to understand that in this hour, in this time frame that we're living in right now, that we cannot direct our own steps because something looks good, because something sounds good, because our emotions think something good. We cannot walk in our own steps. We have to hear the leading of the Lord. Dr. Miles Monroe used to always say this, when a nation or the world is in moral calamity and confusion and chaos is abound, that's when successful ministries and successful businesses are birthed or they have their push through breakthrough moment. He said, in the business sector, that's when millionaires are made. I'm telling you, you got to listen to the Lord right now. Golden compass. What is the golden compass? We know what the golden compass is. It is the Holy Spirit. Not a spirit, the Holy Spirit. Um, next scripture, Psalms 32, 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you with my eyes upon you. That's it. Golden compass. Holy Spirit. The scripture said, I'll instruct you. That's good. I'll teach you. That's real good. And I'll show you the way you should go. Holy Spirit's going to show you the way you should go. Teach you as you're going that way. And instruct you while the Father's eyes are going to be upon you. You got Daddy's protection. Okay? Like... When my kids were little, I'd be like, hey, you know, go to the mailbox. I'm going to watch you. And boy, that was an adventure for the kids to go all the way to the mailbox by their self. But the whole time, I'm watching them. Uh-uh. Keep going to the mailbox. Can you, can you walk in a straight line? Can you just go to the mailbox? <laughs> and, you know, just guiding and leading. And that's how Holy Spirit is. Next scripture, Psalms 37, 23. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold me up by my right hand. You will guide me 
with your counsel and afterwards receive me to glory. Listen, he's going to guide you and lead you. And this is what we must get into our mind. Our personal destiny and purpose, the full manifestation of it, is more important to God than it is to us. Because our destiny is a kingdom mandate. And if you allow the Holy Spirit to be your golden compass, you're going to hit your mark. You're going to hit it. You're going to do what God has called you to do. You're going to steward the things God has called you to steward. You're going to flow in an amazing anointing with the Lord. And you're going to be able to push through. I hope this video helped you today. Guys, I am so stirred up right now with what God is doing. Not what you hear in the world, but I, well, what God Almighty is doing. It's good. And he wants to use you in a powerful way. Love you guys. Hey, you know how I do. You want prayer? Go to the website, jojodawson.net. Hit contact button. Go to the place where it says prayer request. Send me a prayer request and I will pray for you. All right, love you guys.